With the NHL getting closer to a return, players are starting to sign contracts. Unfortunately, players signing their entry-level contracts around this time cannot play in the 2014 playoffs. Three big names who signed this week are not able to help their teams in the playoffs. Alex Romanov of the Montreal Canadiens, Kirill Kaprasov of the Minnesota Wild, and Ilya Sorokin of the New York Islanders. Three Russian prospects who would have a huge impact on their respective teams. Today, I will be discussing the three and the impact they'll have in their teams on their teams next year and the conditions of their deal. See, the worst part for the three teams is the players may have the opportunity to burn a year off their entry level deal, meaning that players are a closer or a year closer to getting the big money. Now, let's just start by covering Alex Romanov of the Montreal Canadiens. Romanov is a very hyped prospect and a guy who could very well impact the Habs in the near future. The Habs defense isn't that strong right now and Weber and Petrie are getting pretty old pretty fast. Romanov, in my mind, could be one of the most overhyped prospects in the NHL right now. Sure, on a team like Montreal, you look at every prospect and get excited for their opportunity, playing for the most historic franchise ever. Romanov is the kind of player that the Habs need going into these play-ins. And with guys like Brett Kulak potentially not being able to play, Romanov could have slotted into that pl- into that spot quite nicely, and it's going to be really hard to see him sit out. His contract is almost a standard ELC. He signed a three-year, $8.95,000 contract. Let's see if Romanov can live up to the hype. Next up is goaltender prospect Ilya Sorokin. Arguably the best goalie prospect in the league right now. The 24-year-old tore it up in the KHL, as did his soon to be state counterpart Igor Shishnorkin, who plays for the Rangers. Sorokin had an insane 1.49 goals against average in the KHL, and if he keeps that up in the NHL, or at least similar numbers, he could easily be a Vesna winner in the future. His contract is interesting. A one-year deal worth the max amount that an entry-level deal can be worth, that being 9.25k. A one-year entry-level deal is pretty rare in the NHL, but if it works for the Isles, it will be a good deal for both sides. Sorokin is the kind of player who could impact the team instantly. Barry Trotz has done an excellent job there, but hasn't got a great goalie yet, and Sorokin could be that guy. They would love to have him going into the postseason. Now on to the biggest name that got signed, a guy that Wild fans have been waiting on for years. Kirill Kaprasov. Now, Kaprasov is an interesting player in the KHL. By interesting, I mean insane. This season, he he was well over a point per game, as in 57 games, Cap got a total of 62 points, and a lot of people were wondering when or if the day would come where he signs the entry-level deal with the Minnesota Wild. And that deal came, as he signed for the max amount 9.25k for two years. And the Wild would kill for Kaprasov right now, heading into the play-ins. Could you imagine Kevin Fiala and Kaprasov on a line together? They might turn into one of the best duos in hockey. Now, a trend that we have seen with these players was none of them, none of the three signed a traditional entry-level deal. All of them had a different amount of whether it be years or a different amount of money. Is that saying anything about the future of how entry-level deals will be signed or just contracts in general or did it just have something to do with the circumstances right now in the world and the league? That we don't know at this time. What we do know is the fact that there are three very good prospects who will be in the NHL very soon and three teams that wish they could be there sooner.